Oh, here we go. Oh, he chased it up pretty. <laughs> Dude, that hooks that was. I like lost control of my freaking rod almost. Back down to the bottom. Don't Perfect. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back. Day two out here on Fort Peck. And today, another gorgeous day. Not nearly as warm. Um, I think it's only like 15 degrees out right now, but sun is out, no wind again, which is the biggest plus out here on this lake because it is absolutely enormous. But we're out here again, gonna be trying for some lake trout. We've got John, Sam, Mark, and Colin over here with our group. Dustin and Sweary are doing their own thing. Um, right now we are just fishing the first hump. Basically there, if you look at a map of this lake, it's it's crazy. There are a bunch of humps and basically we're just gonna be driving around hole hopping on a whole bunch of them today. So we're gonna stay mobile and everybody just kind of spread out today and see if we can catch some lake trout. I only landed two, I missed three yesterday. So get to a hole, see if I can start marking and hopefully catch a lake trout real soon. Really well, good news guys, I'm hooked up and was not recording on the first fish of the day for me. Go figure, I thought I was, but I wasn't. John is here trying to help land this fish, but it's scary because I'll show you what I'm using here in a little bit. I'm really scared to grab this, Nick. Ah! Oh, oh, see it almost happened. Yeah, I know, that's what I was scared of. <laughs> Dang. That's a fatty. All right, guys. Well, here's the first fish of the day for me. Unfortunately, it was not recording, uh, which is my bad because I've been recording every other second of the day besides this second. But nice fatty. Probably, I don't know, 20, high 20s maybe. Not super long, but really fat. And what happened on that is, well, we pulled up to the spot where Sweary and Dustin are. And they uh, caught two fish. So I saw a Sweary, he's to the right of me. He pulled out a little bait that I've been wanting to put on, but I was waiting for somebody else to throw it on first. And uh, Sweary just did that. So I went into my tackle box and I pulled out the biggest frostbite tantrum that I could find. And I walked over to this hole, started sending it down. This fish came from five feet down and met me about 40 feet. Um, <laughs> above the bottom and i just kept on cranking missed it once kept on going hooked up i couldn't even get my camera going or anything i was not expecting a fish to hit but yeah this is giant giant bait and uh yeah he loved it so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna actually keep the gopro running now which i have been all day but it's just it's terrible of course in that very moment i wasn't but first fish of the day we're getting fish on this major break and uh yeah hopefully that's the first of many Oh, got one screaming up. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know how, dude. No, this thing's not dropping fast enough. Dude, I know. That's what I was running into. Like, he is screaming towards the bottom, and I can't catch him. That fish was charging so incredibly fast on the tantrums. It was only my first drop right after I caught that last fish and he just barely nipped the back end of it and i don't know how i missed him because these troubles on this thing are huge but i did and then he went back to the bottom and i could not chase him this is a little bit slower falling of a bait but definitely must be getting their attention that is for sure
What the hell, Sam? I doubt it. Nice. I guess it was worth coming over here. I was jigging down and I just see this mark come flying down. I was like, what? Is it this? hit it on the downfall? <laughs> no, I was already down there. Oh, like, it, oh, was, like it was coming down for it. Yeah. I was like, what? Should I tell John? Yeah, yeah too late. <laughs> I think you got a nice one. Yeah, it feels really heavy. Yeah, get John. John! John! You wanna bring the camera? Dude, there's no way. Oh, oh my god, Sam. Is he there? Yep, carry. Oh my god, just yeah, just take it easy. Just Dude, take it's it easy. So it's so big. big. Just it's don't, so just big. Easy. Yep, keep going. Holy That is a tank, Sam. <laughs> Holy cow. Well, moving spots. We're going back. Try to get some more fish. Going with my boy, no, Sweary. We're not trying. We're getting. We are going to get fish. We're going to be taking the mini bike. I'm not going to be jumping on the back, though. We're going to be getting in this old sled here. Oh, God. All right, let it rip. Yo, that's cool. Now it's time to freaking catch a lake trout. That's what I do know. It did seem like there was a lot of fish before. Oh, here we go. Oh, he chased it up pretty. <laughs> Dude, that hook that was. I like lost control of my freaking rod almost. Um, I don't think so. Holy cow, that was wild. He like started to go down to the bottom. So then I start dropping and then he just was like, no, actually I'm gonna come back for that. He crushed the tantrum. Like actually crushed it. <laughs> Just see, you gotta just talk, talk a little smack to them. And then they're like, hold up, we're here. Don't worry. I've just been doing nothing besides using the tantrum. It's fun when you catch them on it. It's like double You gotta fun. get the right fish to hit for sure. Ooh, and I can't wait to get eight treble hooks in my hand. Yeah, that too. Good fight. Well, it looks like it was smart of us to come over here, sweetie. Yep, it was. Back down to the bottom. Don't Perfect. Oh, the oh, last one I had, feeling. yeah, they hurt. The last one I had freaking didn't fight very hard, even though it was pretty big. This one's fighting. He is pissed. He does look a little <laughs> mad. He is mad. Okay, this could be our chance. I see your leader. This could be it. I see your leader. Spoke too soon, maybe? Yeah. Pretty decent. 
yeah, it's fighting like it's decent. Come on. We're close. Just come up the hole. I know how much fish love coming up holes. Just squeeze that little, oh my God, the whole thing is in its mouth and I do not want to reach my hand in there. <laughs> ah! Oh. oh my god, he munched the that crap out of the tantrum. Oh my god. Oh. Look at that thing. Holy cow. Um, Look at the tantrum, guys. That no, thing is on. gone. Well, filming off the phone did not take the big camera over here to the spot because of how we got here on the sled in the back of the mini bike. But this is that fish. It's definitely a longer fish, probably close to 30 inches, which has been the average actually for this spot. Probably the same size or maybe a little bigger than the last one I had, but one of the craziest fights I've had laker fishing. And again, absolutely destroyed the frostbite tantrum. Big baits, I guess, do mean big fish. And these things, absolutely insane, the fights that they give. Wow, crazy fight. My forearm <laughs> hurts so bad from that. But I haven't caught a fish for like hours and catching that one right there makes all those last hours totally worth it. And now I'm just gonna stretch out my arm a little bit and then get back down there and hopefully get hooked up again. Well, you guys can see the sun is starting to go down. And after I caught that last fish, uh, we haven't marked too much else. We did catch one, smaller one. Uh, I wouldn't say small, but wasn't too bad and otherwise you really haven't marked a whole lot the other guys are coming across the lake right now over there you probably hear them in the background they are giving up on that spot probably going to be coming over here and saying hey do you guys want to get off because we do have i don't know exactly how far it is but it's got to be at least five miles back to the landing and you definitely want to get off of fort peck before it is dark because you got to pass a lot of cracks like you guys have seen in previous videos so I'm assuming that's what they're doing. I'm gonna give it probably five more minutes jigging here. Maybe a miracle will happen, but most likely gonna get over here, get our stuff packed up and see you guys at the landing. I'm not looking forward to this ride back. Me neither. I'm marking. And now it's gone. Oh, I wonder why. The guy showed up and a miracle did happen. I was yeah, just baby. I was just telling them I'm probably not gonna catch one because you guys are coming. And it just came off. Oh, tragic. It didn't look big. It wasn't too big. Well as you can see, John and Sam are here. The boys just showed up. I just did like an outro saying not gonna be fishing anymore. Because they figured you guys wanted to leave, but I don't know. I don't know. Well, Nick sucks. Well, I guess, I don't know, maybe we'll fish a little bit longer. It just hooked up and missed one. But, uh, yeah, probably not too much longer we're going to give it here. And maybe something else will happen, but most likely I will see you guys back at the landing. This is where I am ending the video for day number two out here on Fort Peck. And as always, it was a grind. I fished all day long just to have two fish on top of the ice. I did lose one and then I had a couple that came up and hit but did not get them. But that's the way it goes. That is laker fishing. I'm learning as I go that laker fishing is quite hard. Um, if you guys like the laker content, leave a comment down below. And if you know anything about lakers and you have any tips for us, uh, let me know also down in the comments because I'm always willing to learn and it's definitely something I want to get better at so leave those comments down below but like I said we are back at the landing I'm gonna help these guys start packing everything up we have three more days out here so expect more videos hopefully I can get on top of some more fish but hopefully you guys are enjoying the Fort Peck series again if you guys like this video please make sure to give it a like subscribe if you guys are new 
and I will catch you guys on the next one. Tight lines from NBA.